If you've ever tried to move a vMix project from one system from another, you know it can be quite painful at times. You open the preset and then you get a ton of dialog boxes asking you, where's this video file? Where's that video file? Where's this image? Where's that background music? Well, we've got a tool that makes it a lot easier and it's called the vMix Media Manager. So where do you get a copy of this? Well, before we get to that, let's get the infomercial part of this video out of the way. If you didn't know, we also make Central Control, which is the Sistine Chapel of show control softwares. And that is available from our website at centralcontrol.io on a 30-day free trial. However, if you send an email to I want an extra 30 days at centralcontrol.io, I will send you a key to extend it and you get a free 60-day trial. Anyway, let's take a look. So if I come here and I type in vMix Media Manager into a Google search, it's just the first one here. Fill out your name, fill out your email, and download it. I already have it on here, so let me open it. And here it is. Interface is really simple. So the first thing I need to do is open my vMix project, and it's this. It's actually the project I'm using right now on my other machine to record this video. Give it a second to figure out what's going on. Now, the interface is really simple. We've seen the open button, save vMix file, and also this copy online media to new folder. And I thought I'd explain that first. You can make your life somewhat easier before you actually move it across by running this on the system that has the project working well. And then you open the project in this and click copy online media to new folder. All the assets in that project will be collected and put into a single folder. So when it comes to relinking them, you just find the first one and it finds the rest for you as we're about to see. Anyway, I haven't done that. I've made my life a little bit harder, but let's have a look to see how this works. So I'm gonna click on the first file here and click relink media. We go into my assets folder. Uh, it is titles is the first one. Yes, that's great. Let's look at the next one. I believe this is in videos. Yep, here it is. That's great. Give it a second. It's going to ask if I want to look for other files in that directory. Yes, I absolutely do. We found even more now. Let's have a look for this. Where's this? I believe it is in images. Sure enough, it is. Yep, and we've got all but one. I believe this one resides in musics. Open this. Yep. And that is that. Everything is now back online. So all I need to do now is click save vMix project. If we go to here and I'm going to actually append the file name with fixed because I want to keep my original intact if I ever want to use it again. Click save. That's great. Now that has been saved. So all we want to do now is open vMix. Give it a second. And now let's click open. We'll click open on the fixed version. If we open this one, it would just give me a dialog for every offline asset and it would take forever. So we'll open the fixed one. Yep, open that. There it is. Just taking a second to open the preset. And there we go. Our preset is ready to use with all the assets. I don't have the sources because surprisingly enough, I couldn't fit an Intensity Pro card in my laptop. But other than that, the project is fully ready to go. We are show ready. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel because I've got a whole lot more content coming up soon. A review of the Ata Mini Extreme, as well as a bucket load of central control tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.